Hey there, Steven here from Crystal Tractor and Equipment. Today I've got something pretty cool with me. This is the 525-60 from JCB, part of their Load All series of telescopic handlers. Now, telehandlers are actually one of my favorite pieces of equipment, and this one here's got some pretty unique features that make it easy to operate as well as easy to maintain, and it's got a lot of safety features as well as engineering features that ensure it's gonna last you a long time for great service. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on with this one. So what are we dealing with here? Now the 52560 is gonna have a maximum lift capacity of 5,500 pounds, and it's gonna have a maximum boom out reach at flat height of 10 feet, as well as a maximum vertical reach of 20 feet. Now at 20 feet, you're gonna have about 3,000 pounds of lift capacity, and at your full 10 feet flat out, you're gonna be down to about 1,650. Now what we've got powering the 52560 is a 74 horsepower JCB diesel by Kohler. It's actually manufactured for JCB under their specific standards for this machine. Now the great thing about that is below 75 horsepower, of course, there's not gonna have to be any def fluid run through this machine, but with the type of emissions control that JCB and Kohler installed on this engine, you also don't have to worry about a DPF. So there's no expensive filter to have to worry about replacing over time, as well as no high heat burnoff cycles. Now the load all here is gonna put that power to the ground through a two speed transmission. It's gonna actually give you a maximum speed in low range of seven and a half miles per hour and a maximum speed in high range of 19 miles per hour. So that low range is perfect for use on job site. It keeps you within the safety standards necessary there. Whereas you can go into high range and that's more akin to transport or road travel if you have to take it out to transport it between sites. Now, this particular model is also equipped with the Vera Speed technology, which allows you to use a simple rotator dial to control the maximum speed of your machine in either range. So you can actually throttle your engine RPM up to wherever you need it to operate your loader effectively, but it's gonna limit your forward travel speed to a certain percentage of that 7.5 or 19 miles per hour in either range. Maneuverability on the load all is also made easy, especially here on the 52560, because you're gonna have a maximum width at the outside of the tires at six feet, and your highest point with the boom down, of course, is gonna be six and a half feet, so you could fit it into incredibly tight spaces. But what's even better is, of course, with most telehandlers, you're gonna get three-way adjustable steering. So you're gonna have your traditional front wheel only steering. You'll also get front and rear wheel counter steering. So as you turn your front wheels left, your rear wheels turn right, and that gets you around some incredibly tight corners. And of course, <laughs> my favorite mode is gonna be crab steering mode. So as you turn your front wheels left, your rear wheels turn left as well. So it's going to allow you to drive the vehicle in a sideways direction, which is great for getting away from walls or curbs or other obstacles where you need to maintain a tight clearance. Not to mention, it's just fun. So now let's take a moment to talk about the loader attachments here. Now, you have three different tool carrier options to choose from. First of which is gonna be JCB's proprietary QFIC technology for hooking up to their heavy duty implements. You'll also have your compact tool carrier and you have your universal skid steer quick attach here, which this particular model is equipped with. What this one is also equipped with is the optional hydraulic quick attach release here. So you can engage a button inside the cab and then use your auxiliary flow controls to release and reconnect your quick attach pins here on the loader. Now, speaking of auxiliary, another feature that's pretty handy here is you're gonna have a auxiliary flow dump feature. So one button inside the cabin will release the pressure on your auxiliary flow and you'll be able to attach and detach those components without having to worry about that high pressure fighting you. You also can have up to two separate auxiliary flow routes on this 52560, and you also have the option for constant flow so you can run attachments like sweepers. Now let's head inside the cabin and talk a little bit about some of the features and controls we'll find inside here. So access is very easy through the wide opening side door here. And once we're inside, we'll find some pretty nice amenities. For one, now this is an optional feature here, is the air ride suspension seat. You can also find one with adjustable spring tension. Um, we'll also find this is gonna be, of course, an enclosed cabin model. So the 525 is available in an open station or an enclosed cab model. And the cab model here is going to be rollover protection certified as well as falling object protection. So you're gonna have 
multiple levels of safety there with the cab model. You're also gonna have great visibility because we have glass on all sides as well as an excellent sunroof up here. And of course we have the rear window. One of the great things is we can go ahead and close the door and easily open this side window, which locks open so we have extra airflow as well as the ability to hear better what's going on around us on the job site. Alternatively, we can close this window back up and we can open the rear window here with this latch, which does allow us a couple different degrees of adjustment here, depending on how far we wanna have that open. So that also allows us to be able to hear what's going on around us on the job site. In the top of the cabin, we'll find a sun visor for keeping the sun out when we don't need to use that sunroof. We'll also find a front sun guard as well for the front windshield. And then here on the front, let's talk about some of these buttons. Now inside the cabin here, we'll find all kinds of different controls. So over here on the left, we'll find this cluster, which mostly is going to be for our lights. So of course, we're gonna have lights on the boom. We'll have lights up on the unit as well as on the rear of the unit for extra visibility. And with this model, we're also equipped with road lights too, so we can travel out there. All those switches will be located over here, but this is one of the most useful switches, and this is gonna be the electronic steering mode selector, which is an optional feature here again on this model, but this allows us to select our steering modes on the fly. So we can easily switch between rear wheel counter steer mode, front wheel steer mode, and crab steer mode. All you have to do to engage them is center your steering and continue through your turn and it'll automatically engage the rear wheels as you'd see fit. Now over here on the right, we'll also have our controls for the air conditioning if it's an equipped model. We'll also have our soft ride system control here, which allows our boom to float independently of the chassis platform, which creates a smoother ride for any materials you may be carrying on the front. Then we'll have down here at the bottom end, our wiper controls, because all three sections of glass here, front, top, and rear, are all gonna have wipers and fluid to be able to have excellent visibility at all times and all conditions. Then here in the center, we're gonna have some controls for our auxiliary flows, as well as our continuous flow. We'll have a joystick lock mode for extra safety. And then over here on the right, we're gonna have our auxiliary flow dump control, as well as uh, with this model at least, our hydraulic assist for unlocking our tool carrier. Here is gonna be our main control joystick, and here we'll find the controls for raising and lowering the boom, tilting the load carrier, as well as extending and retracting the boom itself. And we'll have our auxiliary flow over here and our switch for engaging between our two different flows if we have an extra spool set up. Here in the back of the joystick, this is handy feature. So when it comes to switching your forward and reverse shuttle, you have your option, of course, to change it here on the column, or you can leave the column in neutral and switch between modes with a selection switch on the back of the joystick, which lets you leave your controls on the steering at all times and simply switch just with the flick of a button. Now, something else that JCB's engineers focused on when they were designing the 52560 is, of course, safety and reliability. Because if you're gonna be using a machine like this, you wanna make sure that it's gonna last you for as long as you need it to, and it's safe for the operator as well as everyone who may be working around it. So one of the things you can see here, right? We already mentioned all the glass in this cab, but you can see how the low mount boom, as well as the side mounted engine with its low profile sloping hood, actually provide excellent visibility out of the right side. So that allows you much greater access to be able to view where your right side tires are at all times, allowing you greater safety on that side. All load alls will also be fitted standard with a reversing alarm, so when you back up, others around you are gonna know that you may be coming towards them. That reversing alarm is also gonna be easy to hear because of the low noise operation of this unit. Here on the outside, they're achieving a 103 decibel rating outside the unit, and when you're working inside the cab, that's reduced to below 80 decibels for quiet operation. Another great feature of the side-mounted engine in this low-profile hood is easy access for your maintenance. Simply turn the key and pull the handle to open the hood up, and it automatically holds itself up with an assist shock. Now here you can see easy access to your air filter and other filters, so easy everyday maintenance is available here. And you can also see how we have our top mounted radiators. Now this also involves a reverse flow fan which helps significantly cut down on dust buildup as well, helping to ensure long-term reliability for this entire engine. 
You'll also find that JCB offers LiveLink technology, which is a full telematics software that allows you to keep up with engine hours and maintenance schedules, GPS tracking and geofencing so you can ensure that your machine never leaves any designated areas, as well as curfew times to ensure that it's not being operated outside of any designated time. So I hope you can see why I enjoy the 52560 so much. Now here down at Crystal Tractor, we've got a full selection of JCB equipment. This is just the start. So if you wanna see more, go to crystaltractor.com to view our available inventory at any time, or come down and visit us here at Crystal. Thanks for checking out our video.